paramagnetism and diamagnetism. Identify the electron configurations of elements that are diamagnetic. So we have to look at these electron configurations that are in orbital diagrams and figure out which one is diamagnetic and which one is uh, paramagnetic. So we have to know the difference between the two. Paramagnetism has to do with having a net unpaired electrons. So we have to make sure that when we're talking about paramagnetism, we know that they have a net unpaired parallel spins involved. So it doesn't have a spin that is going in the other direction. Net. Remember, it's a net spin. So it has to be more than the ones that are paired. And this makes something, this makes something magnetic so, or attracted to magnets. So attracted by magnets. So remember that paramagnetism has to do with being attracted by magnets and having a net unpaired electrons. Diamagnetism means the opposite. So diamagnetism means it does not, it does not have net unpaired electrons and this means that it also is not really attracted by magnets okay, due to the fact that all of its electrons are paired. So we have to look at these answer choices and see which ones are diamagnetic. But if we also find ones that are paramagnetic, we know those are not the answer. So A is a very obvious choice for diamagnetism because look, it has a paired electron group right here in the 1s energy level. And then if I look at all the other ones, D also has pairs right there. So these both have pairs and they do not have a net unpaired electrons. So that means that A and D are the answers for this question. And C would be a perfect example of paramagnetism. And this would show us that notice that it does have a net unpaired electrons. So that would mean that it's paramagnetic and could be attracted by magnets. So knowing the difference between the two can help you choose the correct orbital diagram.